what is up guys, it's me Kabili Ariel and here to do another video on my review of You Can't Scare Me in Deep Trouble. So yeah, before we begin the video, I'll show you guys my good big haul today. So here are with, here we are with dinosaurs reviving reads for curious kids. Yeah, yeah, if you guys know, I actually like reference books, I actually collect them. I got a lot of DK Smithsonian, got a lot of Lonely Planet, and a uh, National Geographic. So, here's uh, Dinosaurs Ready, Wood, Riveting Reads for Curious Kids. Yeah, I just want to see this site. Here's the Evolution Cleric. I actually really wanted to find this book, and I finally got it. So, shout out to my friend, uh, a cool dabber. Uh, I'll link his channel down in the description. He gave me this book. So, thanks, thanks, dude. And uh, here is uh, a, a National Geographic book. It's uh, Beastly Bionics. Put that here in the pack. And we have Jurassic Park Dead Islands. This is a prequel to the first movie. Uh, if you want to find out what happened before the first movie, I suggest you read this book. It takes place in 1984. Yeah, if you want to know the back, here's the back. The past video if you want, so yeah, to read about it. So, let's move on to the goosebump stuff. First, we have Monster Blood is Back, the new book. Uh, I don't have 50 Great Zombies yet, I'm, just, I'm still hunting for that book, so. And here we are with the retro tins. So, yeah, here's both tins. And the first tin has Nile and W, One Night Horrorland, Welcome to the House, Sigis and Die, and The Haunted Mask, which is all Stein's favorite book of all time. And here in the retro orange tin we have the werewolf of the swamp the haunted school the piano lessons can be murdered which i actually read recently the cuckoo clock of doom and stay out of the basement which is actually in the original print yeah you can, you can see right here in the cover but yeah it's in the o it's in the og print not the tim jickle tim jacobus version the one with the dad there in the basement you know you know the, you know the, the 2003 reprint yeah i'm just doing this pose like this so yeah, what you can't scare me about? So we have our main character named uh, Eddie and his friends. They actually don't have last names, which is actually kind of weird. So yeah, my so yeah, Courtney is a show off. She is annoying the heck out of Eddie and his friends. Uh, Eddie wants to get back at her, so she tries to do different attempts to make sure she's get first. She tries a fake snake, which doesn't work because. Uh, Courtney this isn't afraid of snakes because it's already foreshadowed in the opening of the book. Uh, and also, the they tried doing a tarantula on her back, but it backfires when Molly got the tarantula in her head. So yeah. So yeah, the whole... So yeah, I bet you're wondering, what's the mod monsters doing here? So they, they're kind of at the very end. I actually do not like their role in the story. I think this book is a really poorly paced. It's actually one of the worst books in my opinion in these one history. I do not like this book at all. The mud monsters are the coolest part of the book, you know, where they come in and rise at the end. But yeah, overall, the book <laughs> takes too long to get there and just becomes a, a chore to sit through. Um, Courtney, I think, is the best character in the book. I don't really like Eddie and his friends. They're just not really the best set written characters, in my opinion. They're kind of like up there with Joe and Todd from the books that'll come in the future. But after this book is released, yeah. So yeah, that's all I can say for You Can't Scare Me. Not a good book. Um, although I do like uh, the prank at the end, uh, the attempt for Eddie at the end where he asks his brother Kevin to prank Courtney and her friend Denise. But yeah, that backfires too. Because uh, the cover happens. Yeah. So this book is not really too much uh, going on. So yeah. Not a good book. I'd probably give this book like a 4 out of 10 or something. Probably in the bottom 5. Maybe bottom 5. Yeah, it's not really terrible. I actually read worse books, in my opinion, in the Goosebumps history. But yeah, this doesn't really... Uh, what's the word? Yeah. Ooh, wow, you. It's just kind of like... Meh. Um, the only reason why it's bad because it's... Uh, the mud monsters are appear at the very end. It's kind of maybe in my opinion. So, yeah. And I like the tag right here is... They're coming for you. Yeah. Coming for you. So yeah, more action, my good book. Next up, we have another good one, Deep Trouble. So yeah, 
uh, links to Cool Dabber, Cool Dabber's channel in the description down below. So, yeah. Bye, guys.